Have you ever wondered what the best support weapons are in Helldivers 2? Well, today we'll be going through that. I'll be making a tier list of all of the different support stratagems. And yeah, let's get right into it, starting off with the Stalwart. This is a pretty good machine gun. It's a light one and it has more ammo than the big one. However, it does less damage, but still it is pretty good. Um, I'd say it's probably mid tier, probably around B. Honestly, it may even be C tier just cause it's not really worth using a slot on it, but we'll put it in B for now and maybe move it later. <laughs> We're starting off strong. We got the auto cannon next. This is probably one of the best uh, support weapons in the game. Um, it's definitely not the best. It's a solid A tier, probably the top of A tier. It's one of those weapons where if you have someone with a support pa uh, pack reloading you, uh, you know, you can shoot it a ton really fast. Otherwise, you'll have to reload yourself and you're immobilized and it takes a while, but definitely very, very strong. Another really nice thing with the auto cannon is you can shoot, uh, you know, nests or uh, hives and it'll close the holes. So that's uh, something really interesting with it. And it, it's really strong. Definitely, um, even as a solo player, even if you don't have someone to reload it for you, I'd say, highly suggest trying it out. It is very, very solid. So moving on to our rail cannon or rail gun. This is why I said we're starting off strong. I'd say this is the best support weapon in the game. It's an easy, easy S. Um, it has two firing modes, safe and unsafe. I pretty much always use it on unsafe. Um, however, unsafe does has the chance to kill you if you charge it up too much, but it does way more damage. I mean, this thing, uh, it, it takes down bile titans. It takes down the big boys. Um, I honestly haven't used it too much against the automaton. So if you have, let me know in the comments below how that goes. But um, it is absolutely strong. You can take down chargers really easily with this thing. It's like two or three shots to the head uh, and it just stops them in the track. So unfortunately you can only get it once you're level 20 and it has an extremely long uh call down time and if you kill yourself in the unsafe mode with it i'm pretty sure it despawns so it's like it explodes or something so um those are the downsides you don't want to die when you have this just because it's hard to get and it takes a long time it only has 10 uh, 20 bullets but honestly that's enough to take out most things but very very strong uh highly suggest using i mean this is basically meta everyone want, runs these when you're uh doing hell dive difficulty so amazing gun for sure Next, we have the laser cannon. This is like decent. I, you know, honestly, I'd probably take the machine gun over it. It's, it's okay. Maybe it goes into B tier right now. I wouldn't say it's like the worst, but it's the kind of thing where like it's sort of fun and it's sort of gimmicky because it's like a laser, which is cool. Uh, but I think there are way better options and I think it's not worth wasting a slot using the laser cannon. So I'd probably put it in B. Um, it, it, it's fun to use. That's all I say. It, it's just not that good it doesn't do, deal that much damage it feels like especially against the bugs the terminids it really doesn't do much um against the bots it feels like a little bit better but it it's just like sort of mid uh you know if, if anyone's been enjoying this and you know let me know what you've been using to fight with it or fighting against with it and uh how it's been going for you i haven't really liked it that much i think it's just decent next we have the arc thrower this is pretty strong um, I wouldn't say it's as strong as some of the other stuff, but it's definitely not bad. It might be B tier, um, but I, I, or I mean A tier, but I think it's more B tier. It's just the kind of thing where like is decent. It does good damage, but I don't think I'd ever choose it over the other stuff. You know what I mean? So it, it's fun again, sort of gimmicky like the laser cannon. You get to shoot out lightning, so it looks cool. You know, for drip effect, it may be like S tier, um, but definitely not amazing. It may be higher than the stalwart, honestly. Uh, but yeah, it is, is fine. So next we have the liberator support pack. I, I do have a couple things in here that aren't just support weapons, uh, but I feel like they sort of fit anyways. It's a guard dog. So it, it's decent. I, but honestly, I wouldn't say to use it. It's just not worth using a stratagem on it. So, uh, I I'm putting in D tier, honestly, it, it, it's, it's fine and it shoots and it's like a you know it's like a support turret which is nice but why would you ever take this over a turret turrets just do so much more damage and they're way more effective i mean you can move around with this but generally you're going to different pois and then taking fights and so there's just i, I don't really see the reason to take this over the different pois next we have the spear and as of now i'd put this in probably low b tier or c tier it's just sort of glitchy with the targeting system it takes too long um i think if they get that ironed out and figured out it could be up in like a tier probably or maybe you know it could even be s tier eventually but currently i don't think it's that strong um you know it has a long cooldown time and the call in time is pretty long you can take down big things with it like tanks and stuff but uh, you can take down tanks with other stuff like the railgun. so i 
and, and and it has glitchy stuff going on right now. So that's sort of in its own tier. It's not like it, it once they fix it, it'll be better. I'll just say that. The grenade launcher is very, very strong. I'm loving it. Um, it. It's pretty cheap too. I don't think it costs too much. I don't remember exactly, but and I think you get it pretty early on. I definitely say like before the rail cannon or rail gun, the grenade launcher is extremely nice. It can close nests just like the auto cannon. Um, I think it probably is slightly worse than the auto cannon just because it has less range and you can't be reloaded by one of your mates. It also just has less ammo overall. But before you get the auto cannon, I think the grenade launcher is a wonderful option. It's really strong. I've taken down bile titans with the grenade launcher, uh, you know, just shooting them in the head over and over again. It has a pretty fast fire rate. Uh, you know, it only has two mags, which is a little bit rough. It's definitely not ideal, um, but it it's good. I, I It has a 480 second cooldown time. So, um, but yeah, I, I really like the grenade launcher. Definitely really strong. I uh, highly suggest using it uh, before you have the auto cannon unlocked. But once you, once you have the auto cannon, I just think it's better, honestly. So this is the laser beam guard dog. It's like the liberator one, but it's a laser beam. Okay, so I've used this and Believe me when I say this is worse than the Liberator Guard Dog, and there's a very specific reason for it. It feels really strong. It does a lot of damage. It actually kills a ton of bugs, especially like when they're running after you. But the number of times I've been killed by my own freaking Guard Dog is so annoying, man. This thing will kill you if you stand between it and the bugs, which I know it makes sense. But like, I, I think that they should turn off friendly fire for it or something because it it. The bugs will try to flank around you like from behind and then that laser will go on them and it will instantly kill you. So right now, the way it works, it's awful. It's worse than the Liberator one because at least the Liberator one doesn't shoot you as often. But this laser one, it just I every single time I use it, I get killed by the laser instead of the enemies. I, I don't know if it just needs like a better targeting system, if it needs to turn off when it's like aimed at you. But right now, it's unusable. It, it, it just kills me every single time. So, and you can't... You can't adjust like which side of you it's on, so D tier, absolute D tier. Next we got the flamethrower. This isn't bad, you can definitely take down like chargers with it and stuff. I, I'm actually gonna put it in low A tier right there. I don't know why you'd take it over a grenade launcher because you can't close nests with it, at least that I know of, but it still feels nice and I would rather have it than the stalwart. Um, and it's really fun just to burn everything, you know, for, for democracy and stuff. Um, you, you set the ground on fire. You can set your mates on fire uh, all in the name of democracy. Of course, they were probably traitors anyways, uh, but it's really fun to use. It does a lot of damage um, and it, it feels strong. Honestly, it feels like it does a lot of damage. So I, I'm putting that there. I think it's pretty strong. Moving on to the support pack. So this is interesting. It lets you supply your allies with uh, ammo and I think stims and grenades. I'm not 100% sure on that, that one. I haven't actually used it that much, but I do know it's pretty strong. I'd say that, you know, starting off, it's S tier. As you get go down, it's pro it probably starts going down in value. But uh, if you're like new to the game and you're going with your mates and you're all like level, you know, one to three or whatever, or four, whenever it unlocks, I'd say this is pretty good starting off just because the resupply takes a while. And especially when you're starting off, you don't have like the stronger stratagems like the railgun. So you'll be, uh, you, know, you know, using your primary weapon more, which means you'll be running out of ammo most, more. So early game, I think it's like S tier. And as you go down, it gets worse and worse because you just don't use your primary weapons as much once you're fighting the big boys. <clears throat> so the machine gun is actually really strong. I think it's one of the stronger stratagems, even though you start with it. I think it is extremely strong. Uh, if you didn't know, you can actually change its RPM. So its rate of fire can be changed by holding down R. And if you change that up to, I think 900 is the max, it is really strong. You can definitely take down chargers with it if you're like shooting them from behind or if they, you know, some of their armored plates are hit off. I don't think it's better than like the auto cannon or the grenade launcher, but I definitely think it's better than the flamethrower. So I'm going to put it in A tier right there. Uh, you know, eventually we could even maybe move like the laser down to C tier like that just to make it look nicer. Um, but I definitely think that's there. Maybe that could go top of B tier. Um, but yeah, I really like the machine gun and I think it's really strong. Uh, make sure you change the RPM on it though, because that makes a big difference on how strong, strong the gun feels. Um, but yeah, really strong. So moving on to, oh my gosh, I always get these mixed up. This is the recoilless rifle and that's the anti-tank expendable. So the recoilless rifle is another one where your mates can reload it for you. Um, it feels pretty strong to use. I'd say its damage isn't the greatest and the auto cannon is definitely better is what I'm going to say. So I think this probably goes into high B tier just because you can use it with your mates to reload. Honestly, okay, what it, what it is, is it's definitely better than the machine gun, um, but I don't think it's better than the grenade launcher or the auto cannon or anything like that. 
So uh, yeah, I'll put it right there. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So you can reload it with your friends. It's basically just a rocket launcher. Does quite a bit of damage, can knock off armored plates. You can take down like bile titans with it. That's how I was taking uh, stuff down with my mates. If you have two people run it, you know, you have two people uh, reloading, two people firing them. It's pretty strong. Um, it may even be better than the grenade launcher. It depends if you're like with mates who, who will reload it for you uh, while you're shooting it, I think. Uh, yeah, so solo player grenade launcher in a group that's communicating, I'd use the recoilless rifle. Next, the jetpack. So this is sort of a niche one. Um, I wouldn't use it like if you're doing meta stuff with like a group, but if you're like going solo and you're trying to run away, this can be like S tier, honestly. Even if you're not going solo and you're in like a co-op squad, there's these things where you can do like, you can be stealthy and wear light armor and, uh, you know, try to do missions by moving fast, killing off the patrols before they alert. Um, the jetpack can be really useful for moving around the map and it can be really useful for cheesing the enemies by like going up onto a mountain or, you know, a small hill where they can't get to you. So I'd probably put that up there. It could even be top S tier depending. I mean, it's not really a weapon, so you can't exactly compare it, but, um, I would take the railgun over it if I had a choice, but it can be really useful in niche, uh, places and just, you know, in general for running away and, um, you know, getting on top of places where you're not going to get killed by, uh, chargers or whatever. So pretty strong. Uh, I'd say it's less useful against the automaton since they just shoot back. Okay, the anti-material rifle, you actually get this pretty early on. I don't know why I was so far uh, throughout my tier list, but um, it's pretty good. I'd say the machine gun's better. This can be really good, again, if you're doing the thing where you're like being sneaky and you're trying to snipe off stuff from afar. It has really long range. So I would say it has its place. It may even be like above the grenade launcher, just depending uh, what you're trying to do, but it doesn't like close stuff, so. I, I, I'm going to put it in the same thing as the machine gun. We'll just put it at the top of B tier. It's pretty good in niche uses, but um, it does a lot of damage. But, you know, you can't close nests with it. it it's just worse. It, it's really good, but it's worse than these. And you only get four stratagem slots, so why would you take it other than for the long range and if you're, like, trying to be stealthy, right? Finally, we get the expendable anti-tank. This feels really nice. It doesn't have as many reloads as the recoilless rifle. I think it does do more damage. Um, you know, if you're solo, you might want to use this as a really short cooldown time and you get two of them every single time you call them down. I'm pretty sure it's cooldown time is like, let's see. I think it's like in a minute. Yeah, no, 70 seconds. So not bad at all, honestly. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty good. So I, I would put it like probably above the machine gun especially if you're going against like armored units it's not as good as the grenade launcher but yeah i think that's a good place for it sorry i have a lot of stuff in a and b tier it's just sort of how it goes um i i do think that this accurately represents where i would put everything uh for the support weapons and then you know we have a couple packs and stuff but i, I sort of designate those as support weapons as well with the jetpack so anyways that is the tier list um Again, railgun's really strong, jetpack, uh, really good in niche uses, and that's good when you're early on. Um, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll be having more tier lists coming out in the future. Um, I'll probably do an overall stratagem tier list of everything um, in a little bit, but um, I just wanted to put this one out there. The, strat the overall stratagem one's going to take me a long time, um, but... Anyways, I really appreciate all the support on my videos recently. Uh, it's meant the world to me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, these are my opinions. Uh, it's not necessarily like that. These are the objective rankings. It's just how I've found them to be used. And yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And here is a link to another video.